love the ISUPK. Stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out. Now let's now let's tell the truth. Let's tell, let's tell the truth about uh, the, this Ethiopian woman here. She does, she she said she said that uh, in, in a time of Pharaoh, in a in a time in a time of Pharaoh and Moses. When Moses went, when Moses went to Pharaoh and said, "Let my people go," she thinks there was Africans having Africans in slavery. No, it was not. Moses was a black man. He was a Jew. The Jews were black first. Black man, I'm here to tell you today: if you are a black Latino, a Native American, any man, according to the Bible, you are a Jew because you come from the bloodline of the Jews, who was Moses, David, Christ, Samson, Ezekiel, Jeremiah. King Solomon. That's the bloodline that we come out of, man. We come out, we come out, we come out of the bloodline of Joseph. That is us. Go ahead and read. Now we now let's see. Let's see what let's see what you said is true. You think the Ethiopian you think you think you think Moses was an African and the Africans had Africans in slavery in Egypt. There was a Jew, there was a Jews. Pharaoh, Pharaoh had the Jews in slavery, man. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Because he's a devil. He's a devil, that's why. He's a devil, that's what he is. That's his job. I'm a devil. Yes, you are. And you walk you're walk you're walking on the bones of 77 million there, American Indians, man. Go ahead. Give me give me Exodus chapter one and eight. Let's get a story. Let's see did the Africans have African in slavery, or did the Africans have Negroes in slavery? Let's find out. Exodus chapter 1, verse 8. Go ahead and read. The book of Exodus, chapter 1, verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which do not Joseph. Verse 9. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel. There we go. That's one race. So you got the children of Israel. Read on. Are born and mightier than we. Pharaoh was scared. Pharaoh, Pharaoh said, the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Meaning what? These people here are growing in population. Did that sound familiar? Who, who, who else rules the world? Or is the president of, of, a, of a country? And an end is in fear of a people out multiplying more than his people. They are in fear of a race multiplying more than their race. That sounds familiar, right? It happened in, it, it, it happened in Exodus. And it's happening right now. Go ahead. Verse 10. Come on. Let us deal with them. Why deal wisely with them? Least they multiply and it come to pass that when they have fallen out any war, they join also unto our enemy. And that's what it's all about. What it's all about is this. Your, your oppressor is afraid for you to multiply more than him because he thinks when it's time to go to war that you will choose a, you will choose the side of his enemies. That's why he's afraid. Just like the Americans now are afraid for a Latino to multiply more than them, afraid for a Negro to multiply more than them because they know they have treated us wrong. And they think when it's time to go to war that we're going to choose the side of the enemy. Well they, well, they, well, they have the right fear. But they, 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 they don't have to have that fear if they treat us right. If they treat us right, they don't have to worry about us joining the team of the enemies. But because they have no compassion, and because they are animals, and just beasts and not even human beings, they, are, they, know, they, have, they, and they know they have done black people wrong. So they are afraid, they are afraid when it's time to go to war that one day 
the people who they oppressed and had and had in, in chains, that they will join the side of the enemy, man. Go ahead and read. And fight against us. And so get them up out of the land. Also, this is what this 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 is where abortion comes from. Let's read, let's read the fourth, let's let's read the first abortions. Let's drop down to um drop on down. What is it, 16, right? Drop down to 16. Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh wanted to kill the children of the other of the, of the Jew of the Jews, of the Hebrews. He wanted to kill no. No, the firstborn was killed, but this is this not it. This is Pharaoh killing. God killed God killed the firstborn. This is Pharaoh, this is God, this is Pharaoh, a man, killing the Hebrews, killing our people. Go ahead. Book of Exodus, chapter 1, verse 16. And he said, When ye do office of a midwife, so now he told his he told his Egyptian woman, when these black women are having children, this is the order that he gave him. Go ahead to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools. If it be a son, now if it be a black boy, then what? Then ye shall kill him. Ye shall kill him. That's what Pharaoh said, do the black people, man. Africans and Negroes are not the same. And the reason why he wanted to kill the sons is so that black men are black, is because, and so, there would not be any black soldiers in Egypt. No Hebrew soldiers, man. Go ahead. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. If it be a daughter, then keep her. Because we can keep a black woman, and we can mate her, and we can use her. But if it's a black boy, he'll grow up to a black man, and he'll fight for his people. And Pharaoh did not want that. And it's the same thing that goes on to America. America, uh, the woman that created Planned Parenthood, she was a racist white woman, Martha Singer. She's racist, and she hated black people, man. And she wants black people to abort their children. The reason, the reason why we shot dead in the street is to eliminate us. The reason why we have drugs in the neighborhood is to eliminate us and to get us locked up. And they get, and they get paid to put black men and black women in prison, in private owned prisons, man. It's all a game. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper a toilet, I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler Warhol, or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order